Hello, everyone. This video will go over which is the better coupon. So unlike in the last video where we found the amount that was less, this time we're going to find the amount that is more. So for problem number one, Aaron would like to buy a nightstand with an original price of $55. Which coupon should he use? All right. So as we can see here, we have a 20% off any purchase coupon. And we also have a $10 off any nightstand coupon. So first, we're going to take the original price which is $55, and we're going to multiply it times 20%. And that will give us $11. Now, we're going to compare the coupons. So we have a $10 off coupon, and we have $11. Since $11 is more than $10, Aaron should use the first coupon. All right, so that is problem number one. Now we're gonna be moving on to problem number two. Okay, so for problem Number two, the original price of a model airplane is $45. Which coupon is a better deal? Okay, so we have a 60% off any purchase coupon, and we also have a $30 off one purchase of $40 or more coupon. So if we take the original price, which is $45, and we multiply it times 60%, that will give us $27. Now, we're going to compare the coupons. So we have $27 and we also have $30. Since $30 is more than $27, the second coupon is the better deal. Okay, so that is problem number two. Now we're going to be moving on to problem number three, which is the final problem in this video. All right, so for problem number three, which coupon should Finn use? to save the most money on a hockey stick originally priced at $24. All right, so we have a take 25% off any purchase coupon, and we also have a $5 off one purchase of $15 or more coupon. So if we take the original price, which is $24, and we multiply it times 25%, that will give us $6. Now we're going to compare the coupons. So we have $6, 
and we also have five dollars. Since six dollars is more than five dollars, Finn should use the first coupon to save the most money. All right, so that is problem number three, and it's also the end of the better coupon activity. I hope you found this video to be helpful and useful. If you have, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and also subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!